Hi all, welcome to the Ones to Watch and Path to Glory guide for the weekend of the 26th of January. Apologies for not really doing this much lately, I've just been bogged down with other stuff and obviously illness as well. But if you can smash likes for awesome, sub to the channel if you're new, know, follow me on Twitter at Jay's Legend, all links are down below for playlists on the channel and social media links as always. So plenty of cards to cover and obviously when January's editions come in we're going to have even more cards to kind of watch in this bracket. So first off is Ederson and... Obviously, you've got FA Cup, you've got um, players in some leagues will have their um, just normal league games. But obviously, for the teams in the FA Cup, be wary, they will not get um, an inform. But last year, the Man of the Match cards came into effect in this round, so same applies, same could apply this year. Um, so, like guys like Ederson, Walker, they're quite expensive just now still, but um, if you're patient, you could get the odd one on the cheap. Bonucci, obviously his card got the team of the year and people then thought, oh, he's got a team of the year, it'll go up. But no, it doesn't, um, but he could get a downgrade, so be wary of him, but he's still around that 60k mark. Davison Sanchez is like 30, 30 to 40k. I've missed a few cheap ones on the open bid for sub-30. Um, Aurea, be wary, a lot of people price fix his card. Um, same with quite a few of them, actually, to be honest. So if you're trying to get one open bid, you're going to have to do a wee bit of searching. Um, Bruma, he's just been he's been close a couple of times for an inform, but he's not really had that chance. James Rodriguez still super super expensive. Um, not as many as previously. Like when he was eighty six, it was quite a lot in the market. Now that he's an eighty seven, he's still super super expensive. Tolizo has the potential for an upgrade, maybe even just like a plus one. But one to watch would probably not be affected on the inform. Salah is due probably an inform upgrade. Um, so expect base card to maybe sneak up on one of the informs. Like I said, it's creeping down, down, down. Days of him being three, four hundred K are long gone, it's like two nearer the two hundred K. Lukaku, I don't believe he's in he probably will not get a, um his price will probably plummet due to not playing tonight. Jan Malenko, he has missed so many goals lately, it's kinda crazy. And honestly, see some of the games when he's missed, I've noticed um people listing up super cheap. Luffy, he's Creeping down back to what he initially was when he was an 82 rated. But he's fairly cheap anyway. And Bernadeschi, he is getting closer and closer to rock bomb. But the thing is, a lot of these cards, they're not as cheap as, say, they were like six weeks ago, for example. Um, with a lot of these cards, what I've noticed is um, cards like Triori, Baldi Dio, Theo Hernandez, a lot of them, they were at what they were like rock bottom for maybe say they're rating on their price or what was expected um, and even Douglas Costa was quite cheap as well For he was like rock bottom at one stage for his kind of price and what's now kind of happened is um, the cards are creeping up mainly because people are investing in the cards not because they're assuming they're going to get an inform it's because they're investing in the cards because of the one to watch SBCs that they assume will happen like what happened last year now if that was the case then you're investing in them is kind of counterproductive only because if the one to watches for the summer were to appear as an SBC where it's untradeable or tradable your biggest problem is then that some of these cards can plummet in value because some of them are getting over um, getting packed so much but despite obviously not really showing as an SBC but then if demand is um, depreciating because of them being untradeable if you if it's tradable and untradable then you would find as a result that some cards would go up and some might go down but it's kind of crazy like Hart for example there was days where he was rock bottom and they're, they're creeping back up so that's where I'm thinking if they're at the stage of FIFA where some are rock bottom um, and some aren't really rock bottom anymore, they've at least got a bit of a value um, where people can say, right, oh, if I can get them open bid fairly cheap, then I'm laughing. Like during the team of the year, if you were patient enough, you could probably get between the Path to Glory cards and the one to watch is most of them fairly cheap. It was People were willing to sell off everything that was in deemed to them as an investment just to get some coins to fund towards team of the year and like Giuliano for example is an 84 rated um, central card obviously it's a striker card is what um, the card is it's kind of 
for me personally, I'd rather buy the Path of Glory card if it's at least cheaper than the Inform. But for me, between the ones to watches and the Path of Glory cards, the ones I'm looking at um, for this weekend, I'm looking at your um, cards that kind of need a performance. Um, teams, maybe where if they're playing a team that they should be or should get a result against, and obviously be wary as well The if any of them aren't fully fit. Um, I would say, for me personally, I've kept that Carvalho card in my club since pretty much the day that he um, happened as a Path to Glory card and it's been stuck at 10.5k. Um, obviously, he's a bit higher now and I've tr I do try and like, lazy buy and um, lazy sell him to see if people will buy him. But um, it's still never happened to this day. Forsberg, for example, he's not really shown the form as last year, which is kind of crazy. Because um, he was one kind of player I looked at thinking, oh, he's not getting an info, he's not had an inform yet, he's not really done the business yet, this FIFA. But I'm um, same, and I can't say in FIFA, but in real life to merit an inform in FIFA. Like Carvalho's not done too much really to merit, and I'll probably offload him now. But um, you'll notice as well, Sandro Wagner, um, big point to remember with him is he's now at Bayern, and his path to glory card is at Hoffenheim, um, I believe with the if he was to get inform, it does not affect the pass of glory card or something. It's, it it throws me, and I think it throws a lot of people as well. So be fully aware of that. Um, I think now um, it just kind of confuses. It, it, I'm sure it, it should be fully straightforward. I'm sure he doesn't. If he gets a narrow inform, it does not affect it because it's obviously not the parent club that was affected. So in theory, I'm surprised the Sandro Wagner card is not like defunct. It's like um, pretty much this card, but um, it's going to be fun and games as always with the want to watch path to glory. Obviously, once the winter ones come in, it'll, if they do come in, it will make it even more interesting. But let me know in the comments down below if there is any ones to watch or path to glory that you're investing in for this weekend. So as always, sub to channel if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.